So step six asks us to create a, a two files, add category.php and delete category.php. And um, let's just take a real quick look at the um, add product.php. And what this is, it's um, it's all PHP. And what it's doing is it's um, first it's grabbing the data from the form and um, just um, Let's just take a quick look at the form to remind ourselves how this works. And um, we could actually notice that the action for this form is addproduct.php. So now we're looking at the addproduct.php. So again, we're getting these values from the form. And, um, and then we're validating to make sure that um, valid data was entered. And, um, and then um, if the input is valid, then we're adding this um, data into the database. So here's our query, and then here's the bit that adds it to the database. Once we're done with that, then we're going back to the index page, um, or we're including that to display it. So um, what we could do is just make a copy of this file and then edit it. And what we're going to end up with, um, we're actually going to put that um, that form right here underneath this add category. So the form is going to be part of the list page instead of a separate page. So we'll, we're going to do that part later. So for now, all I'm going to do is make a copy of this um, add product and then make a copy of the delete product and then change them to add category dot PHP and then um, delete category dot PHP and we'll be editing those later. Remember that if we tried to use these right now they wouldn't work because they've got all of the information in there for the products. Um, so just as an example we just we want to make sure that um, you know, just for one thing, instead of going back to the index page, we want to go back to this um, category page. Now let me go back to this category page for just a minute, and then let's look at the code in here. And um, I just want you to notice that um, that in the top, it's already doing the query for um, for the database. And um, we're already connecting to the database with this line, and then we're getting all the categories with the with the um, with the query, and then we're putting all of the values into this categories array.